Our journey to the roof of Africa starts in an airport. They say a journey always starts with the first step, but in this case, the first step must be waiting on three hours worth of convoluted lines in a dilapidated airport. But hey, TIA, baby! Alright guys, we're here at the Machame Gate, 1800 meters up, we just got another seven days to go and we're all set. We're in the rainforest, we just started the Machame Trail, the first biome of the uh, Kilimanjaro hike. We're just going pole pole so that we don't die. All right, we're approaching the first camp. You guys excited? Yeah. Yes. Day two, the porters are all getting everything ready. It's a wild scene. Day one was a cinch. 11 kilometers through the rainforest and we arrived in good spirits at Machame Camp. On day two, we were still fresh and excited. Even as we headed into the moorland and began to gain some elevation, everything was still... Hakuna Matata! Hakuna Matata! Yeah, yeah! All right, yes. we made it to Shira Cave Camp. We're at 3,750 meters, about 12,000 feet. It's camp number two, end of day two. Probably gonna do another little day hike later. But here we are, we made it. At the end of day two, spirits were still high and I felt great. Though of course ready to kick off my boots and chow down. The food on Kili was delicious and man was it plentiful. They say high altitudes diminish your appetite, but someone must have forgotten to tell our stomachs because we were absolutely ravenous. Going. How is that? Awesome. It's so good. All right, we've got Kyle Moff, the Moff Man, right over here, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna say some nice words about the Shearer Camp and our day so far. Yeah. So, um, you know, I was standing out here earlier in my sandals and shorts, uh, just observing, you know, this great view that we have. Not sandals or shorts weather. And uh, what I noticed was really cool. It was uh, maj both majestic and beautiful. It was this slow, creeping fog, something kind of out of a movie. And just thought that was a really, um, you know, picturesque kind of ending to the day. Absolutely. Amen, brother. Beginning of day three, heading out of Shira Cave Camp. It's a beautiful day. Damn, Kyle's diligent. Day three is getting a bit harder. We're dirty and tired, and even with our altitude pills, the headaches are starting to set in. But all in all, we're doing great. We're approaching the Lava Tower camp. Check it out. 4,600 meters, almost 15,000 feet. Okay, so shit's starting to get real. 15,000 feet is no joke. It's cold, rainy, windy, and the altitude just makes you feel woozy and weird. The weather is super weird too. One minute the sun is out and it gets really hot, and just a moment later a cloud envelops you and you're freezing. All right, we made it to the end of day three. Hiked up about to 15,000 feet at the Lava Tower. Now we're at the Barranco Camp at about 3,900 meters. Gonna relax, gonna rest these weary feet and uh, have some dinner, popcorn, tea. It's been a good day. So people ask me a lot what we did during our downtime on the mountain. Well, I read a bit and we had a deck of cards. And of course, Mothman worked out. But believe it or not, we played a lot of catch. You know, just your run-of-the-mill baseball game at 15,000 feet. Just about to start day four. Had a little headache last night, but feeling good this morning. Take a look at that. We're heading right up there.
Day four was intense. Lots of walking, climbing, and scrambling. Most people choose to spend this night at Karanga camp and then head to base camp the next day. Not us, we were ready. We wanted to hit base camp this evening, take a quick snooze, have a bite to eat, and then make our summit attempt in the dead of night. All right guys, we made it to Karanga Hut, 3,900 meters. This is the last stop before we go to base camp. Heading off to base camp later today, and then hopefully to the summit at midnight tonight. All right, we just left Karanga camp. We've got a belly full of french fries, fried chicken, and this bizarre coleslaw with vegetables, and bananas, and mayonnaise, but it was all delicious. We're heading up to base camp right now. There's the first peak. We're gonna be heading up there at midnight tonight. Yeah, come on, let me... All right, folks, we made it to Barafu Camp, 4,673 meters above sea level. This is the last stop before the summit. We're going to be heading up to the peak, which is about 19,340 feet. One of the tallest mountains in the world. We are having an absolute blast. All right, I'm lying here in my tent just after getting to base camp, and man, am I wiped out. It is nuts what the altitude does to you. I mean, I'm on these Diamox pills, acetazolamide, and those work wonders. I mean, I have a little bit of a headache, but I can't even imagine doing this without it. But wow, like, it is, like, to go to the bathroom, which is, like, maybe 50 yards away, it takes all of your energy. It is really wild. But I feel good. I'm excited for the summit. I'm definitely excited for dinner. Meals on Kili are special events in which the rules of time and space just don't seem to apply. The amount of food each of us put away every meal was astounding. Let's put it this way, if you didn't know any better, looking at each individual plate, you'd think that it was the serving tray. That's how much food we were eating. Wow, look at this. Heading to sleep, it's about seven o'clock, right before summit night. Waking up at 1 a.m. and we will summit Mount Kilimanjaro. All right, it's go time, baby, summit night. Getting suited up. Oh my gosh, it is cold out. Getting layered up and uh, ready to go. Mothmeister, how good. you feeling? Feeling good, man. Yeah? Two in the morning, don't, don't even know it. Almost at 17,000 feet. Sun is coming out. Yeah! Celine, you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it! You enjoying it? Yeah! Oh man, it's beautiful! Come on, Come on, Come on, Wow, Amazing. we're almost at Stella Point. Yes. Sun's coming up. Mm -hmm. Mist is rolling in. Oh man, is that wild. Look at the clouds. Our bags are frosting over. Look at that mist right there. That is amazing. One hell of a view. The last few meters to Uhuru Peak were tough, but this is what we came here for, and we were so close. It was pure adrenaline that pushed us to the top. When we reached Uhuru Peak, we were all ecstatic. We were a jumble of hugs, high fives, and pats on the back. A friend of mine had written out for me a poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson, Ulysses, to read on our trip. The poem talks of the hardships and the rewards of a journey, so I felt that it was appropriate to read at the peak as a testament to our accomplishment. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. 
Alright, we made it to Uru Peak. 19,340 feet in the sky. Look at it. We did it, and every single person in our crew, all nine of us made it with our intrepid guides. It was phenomenal. Now, let's get the hell down. It is freezing. Woo! The climb up Kilimanjaro was excruciating. Each step felt like an eternity. On our way down, however, the wind was at our backs and we effortlessly flew down the mountain. It was exhilarating. It was like skiing on the scree. I'm sitting here in my tent after summit night. I am absolutely beat. It took us about six hours to summit, and then it took us about maybe two hours or so to come down. It was a test of endurance. Psychologically, I mean, it was really, really rough. Uh, right now, I finally have stripped down, gotten out of my you know, rain clothes, and, and now it is blisteringly hot. So I am going to take a well-deserved nap, and then uh, we're gonna have some good food, and uh, then I think we'll probably nap a little more, and uh, head down to Millennium Camp. Well, what do you know? Looks like the trials and tribulations are not yet behind us. A reward for summiting, a hailstorm. All right, it's the last day. We're heading out from uh, our camp. We just passed Mueka Hut. We've got about 10 kilometers to go till we're at Mueka Gate, and then we are done. We are set to finish this trek in six days instead of seven. Uh, we had a great pace, it's been great fun. Back in the rainforest, can breathe again. Really nice and excited to take a nice hot shower. We did it, it is the end of day six. We just took about 10 kilometer trek back from the camp and we are now at Mueka Gate. We are done, we went up, we went through all the zones, all the climate zones, we went to the peak, we were at Uhuru Peak, 19,340 feet, and now we've come down, we're done, and we are ready to go, have back to, back to civilization, back to our beds and our showers and our clean bathrooms. Let's do it. Let's finish the last few steps. Good job. Good job, good job. So here we are, the nine newest summiters of Mount Kilimanjaro. No better way than to celebrate with some Kilimanjaro brand beers. The trek was exhilarating and pushed me to my limits. From the challenges to the successes, it was simply one of the most meaningful and exciting trips I have ever taken. If you live for adventure, then you must put Kilimanjaro on the top of your bucket list. You will not regret it. <laughs>